hello welcome back once again to another tutorial as yes, i want to show you guys on how to make what you can see on the screen right here i want to show you guys on how to make this and i also want to let you know that i have an online class that is ongoing on how to sew your baby nest and baby accessories i have different shade of things you can do so in case you don't you want a new skill to add to your skills like I did. I saw I have a video which I explained it very well for you to be able to understand. So I want you guys to support me by coming to learn with my video, my tutorial which I have as a class for you to learn. I really need you guys to come because I don't just want to ask you to support the channel. I just said okay, I should do something for you guys to also learn. In a way that you can support this, this channel i really need your support in this channel i really need your support to keep this channel going i have been trying on my own for good one year and one month now i have been doing this on my own putting all my income putting everything even my last card i put everything into this work because i just want to help that is the reason why i came here to help to assist you guys so at least i need you guys to assist me back in a way of a video if you say you don't want to learn the video you can still assist me i will really appreciate you guys because i really need this to keep this channel going i really need this i am not i am not i am not how will i say it i have lost all hope and confidence but i keep pushing i keep giving you guys new things every day I, as of now, I have about five videos that I'm supposed to upload, but the workforce, only me, I've been doing this for a good one year and one month now. There is no support anywhere, and I have over more than I have more than hundred videos in this channel, minus my shorts that I have, my, minus my YouTube shorts. I have more than hundred and ten videos in this channel. You can go ahead to start counting it from one till then. So I need you guys to support me, really. I really need your support to keep this channel going because there is one thing or the other that i'm doing so i don't have enough cash or enough income to put into the channel because i have other things i also do i really need your support so that things will do fine and i will be able to give you guys a perfect and a, a good clip for you to watch so in this tutorial i just want to let you know that i really need your support really i really need your support so people have even promised me in the past of supporting the channel after sending them my details for long they refused to do anything so with that anger i still went back to delete my message because it is as if there's nobody that wants to support but i've been putting everything i have into this just to help you guys because i know i have as of now i have I have 3,111 subscribers and not even one person has even supported me in kind, you can see. But I've been supporting you guys, giving you guys things, anything I have that I know that will be helpful to you guys, I give you guys. So I don't know, I have taken much of your time and I don't want to take much of your time. I say please, I really need your support, I really need your support, it really means a lot to me. But as of now, I will try my best to show you guys my my uh, my youtube my youtube um, analyst analytics for you to see that what i have in my youtube account is very small and they have not paid me anything for the past one year up to now so i really need you guys to understand i really need you guys to understand and support the channel i really need your support please i'm coming out i'm not supposed to do this but i want you guys to make a bit of my youtube that they have been paying me a lot of money, a lot of money. I'm supposed to be doing this, doing that, setting things in place. If you talk about been paying me, you can see my environment I am now. I don't like the output. You can see the noise around in the background. If they have been paying me, if you have giving me anything, I'll go to a better place and set things for you guys to learn better. So for now, you guys should support. So let's go straight into the video. I have said a lot. I will keep saying, saying, saying until this whole chapter, but I don't want to do that. So let's go into the video. I hope. I believe this will be very interesting to you because I have something very nice for you to see. I hope you guys are listening and learning as well. Please don't forget to practice. That is the only way you can understand what I've been showing you. If you practice, you might not get it right the first time, but I promise you the second time will be better than the first. As I always say, 
the third time will be better than the first and second. So just keep practicing. As I have said, I have used almost I have more than five minutes. So let's go to the video without further ado. So welcome back once again to another tutorial. Today we are going to learn on how to get your flowers. So I have showed you one I have a video on how to get your flowers. That is one of the ways you can get your plants because plants there are different ways of getting plants and different form of plants so that other way i showed you on the other tutorial was the other way to get your plants and this is another way of getting your plants so you can see these pictures on these pictures on my screen there this way i'm i want to show you now is the way you can be able to achieve this kind of plants so let's go straight into the tutorial so what you are going to do now you're going to get your pattern paper it is advisable to use your pattern paper first before cutting on your fabric so you will be able to know the amount of fabric you want or need so if it is much you can go ahead to to trim it short if it's not enough you can go ahead to make it longer so it is very important it is very advisable it is advisable to use your pattern paper before placing it on your fabric after concluding on the length you want your flowers to be so I advise you to do that. So what I want to make now is the other flans you can see on the sleeve there. That is the flans which I want to make right now. So what I'm we are going to do now is to fold your, your paper into four. Like you want to cut a play, that kind of form. So the essence of doing this is to get the midpoint of my paper. That is the reason why I am doing this, to get the midpoint of my paper before going ahead to cut out my flans. So I have gotten to my center line. So right here now you can see my center line which I have right here. At this spot there now, this is my center line which I have there. And what I'm going to do now is to use my pen to bring out this line with my pencil. So I'm going to use my pencil to bring out this line brighter. Or let me use a pen so to make it much brighter for you to see. Because I want to use my marker to get my flowers, so I don't want anything to distract you and chain you guys. This, and if if you are not if you are not that sure with the amount of, you can go ahead. So don't worry, I'll show you guys how to measure it. But if you are not that sure with the amount of or the length which you are working with, you can go ahead to extend your lines to the end. So it will be able to guide you on where to cut if you have gotten to the length and where to cut your flowers. These lines might guide you on where to cut so you don't go ahead to cut it wrongly to make it not balanced well. So after getting your lines, I hope you can see this lines which I have here. So after getting your lines now, what you are going to do next is to get the calculation of your flowers. And the flowers which I want to make with now, to what I'm seeing, my because I'm going to use crinoline on it, I also have a video on how to do that. That same video I showed you how to make your your flowers. I also showed you on how to fix your crinoline. So go ahead to watch that video. I want to bring that into this. So what you are going to do is to get the full length of your flowers plus one inch for sewing allowance. If you are using lining, I want to use one inch for sewing allowance. If you are not using lining, you are going to use zero point five inch for sewing allowance to use it to join your fabric. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to use lining because I'm going to fix crinoline inside. So what I have here, my crinoline is three inches by width, and my my full length of my flounce is five. I'm going to make it six inches for my flounce, six inches plus one inches for sewing allowance. So I'm just go around now to mark this out. So you can see what I have here now. I have my my circular and my my the width of my flounce, but my sewing allowance is six inches. That is what I have here. Starting from this midpoint, that is why I put this point. So this now this is the midpoint. So starting from this midpoint, I went on to get six inches around this my part here. 
So there is one thing you will want to know when making this. It is very important, as I told you earlier, to cut it on your paper before going ahead to cut it. So what you are going to do now for your flounce, you are going to choose one of this your it's like a cone shape if you are taking a look of this one it's like a cone shape so one of these your shape you are going to choose which one you are going to work with so let me use my marker pen to show you on how to go about that so you are going to choose which one to work with so i will go ahead to work with this other part here i'll go ahead to work with this other part here so i'm just going to rule my straight line connecting it to the middle you can actually get your midpoint from here. So what do I have from here to here? 10. So I'm going to make a point at 5. Connect it down to this point. So after getting it to this point, what you are going to do now, you are going to use this line that comes out like this. You are going to work with this line that comes out like this. So what do I have from here? So from here to here, I have 3. 6 inches, the midpoint will be 3. So remember my flounce is 6, six inches, so my midpoint is going to be 3. So when you're working with this, if you are making use of 10 inches for your flounce, you are going to make your circle 10 inches, 11 inches, make it 11 inches, 20 inches, 5 inches, 4 inches, depends on the amount of your width of your flounce. So it depends on the width of your flounce, that is what you are going to make, not the, the circling round. The width, the thickness of your flounce, how you want it to be. That is what you are going to make here. After making your calculation plus your sewing allowance, that is what you are going to get on this your diagram here. And then you go ahead to get your midpoint between this point to this point, which is here. My midpoint from here to here, that is here. Then my midpoint from here to here, which is six, that is three inches. The midpoint between six inches is three. So after getting that, what you are going to do next is to come out by 0 0.5 inch. So at this point, I'm going to come out by 0 0.5 inch. Then you connect from there down to this point. So you're going to connect down to this point. After connecting it down to this point, what you are going to do now is to get the full length of your flounce which you want to make. So the full length of my flounce from here to here, I have my six inches. From here to here again, I have my six inches. So I'll come over to my midpoint. This is my midpoint line, which I have here. And I'll create my six inches. And come over here and create my six inches. So I am going to take this six inches, round it like this. My six inches, I'm going to take it, round it like this. Okay, so I will go ahead to stop it at this point here. So I will go ahead to connect this, my flounce, down to this point. So you can see what I have. So after getting my point, because I told you I want to stop it at this point here. So where is my... I want it to stop at this point here. So once I have it, like let me go ahead to connect it like this. So let me roll it for you to know what we have here. And let me roll back my lines. Who is that? So you can see the shape which I have here now. So this is the shape of my flounce which I have here. So let me go ahead and do if you want to get your calculation of your flounce. You are going to take a measurement inside here and stop here. So if you want to continue your measurement, which means you are going to increase your flounce at this part, you are going to increase it. So let me see what I have here.
so i have 26.5 starting from here to this part i have 26.5 so if you want yours to be longer you are going to extend it let me show you something i'm not making use of this one i just want to show you something so six six So you can see so me now i want to stop my hair but if you want your flounce if your measurement from here to here is not enough you can go ahead to continue your measurements and stop here because this is where it stops you don't go ahead to complete your measurement so if you want it longer you are still going to extend this your upper part before you continue your measurement so this is what i want to make use of for now so let me go ahead to cut it out So going ahead to cut it out, you are going to start from this part right here. Start it from where you stop your measurements and cut out like this. So this is what I have for my flounce. So with this my flounce, what I want to do now, I already have my sleeve here, and I have a video on how to cut your sleeve. So in case you don't know how to cut your sleeve yet, I have a video on how you will be able to cut this sleeve. So just go ahead to watch that video. So after that, what I'm going to do with the flounce, which I'm going to work with now, I'm going to use the length of this my flounce, which I which I have there. So I'm going, just going to place it on my sleeve like this. So my flounce, after everything, I'm going to place it on my sleeve like this and I'm going to sew my flounce on my sleeve. So I'm going to make sure this fits in. I'm going to make sure this fits in or I'm going to reduce it. So this is how I'm going to sew my flounce. So for the other picture which you are seeing on the screen there, which I made, how I was able to do that was to place my flounce like this. So you can see. Let's go ahead to because it was full, so I, I was able to place it in this shape just like this. So when doing this, make sure you are using your needle and thread. Once it comes like this, make sure you tack this down to this spot, which is going to come again, and it is going to cover up your empty space. When you are using lining, definitely you are going to sew everywhere close with your lining. If you are not using lining, maybe you are using poly kind of fabric. You are going to cover here after tacking this down to your fabric going to place it like this and so it's your thread and needle so this is just how to go about this so you just go ahead to give us a try so let me go ahead to do what i want to do then show you the finish work of it so this is my fabric when working with your fabric make sure you place it in two so what i have here now is two pieces so if i go ahead to cut my flounce now i'm going to get two pieces of this yeah, after getting your two pieces of this, you go ahead to pin it down, you tack it down to paint. Then I will go ahead to continue to show you guys on. I, I'm not going to continue on this. I just want to show you in case you want to double your fabric. But if you are not using a double fabric, go ahead to use your one piece of fabric. So let me just go ahead to do my work then, show you the finished result of this. So in case you have not subscribed up till now, please go ahead to subscribe, share, like. Like this video, the thumbs up if you find it helpful in any way. Share to your friends to also come and watch, learn, and understand. So, I have other videos for you to watch and learn, improve in what you are doing. So, thank you very much. So, stay safe. There is something I want to show you on this our flounce. So, like this part here, I went on to contour this. 
So I just want to show you in case some people that do not know. I went on to come to there. So we are not going to leave here sharp as this. So this part is not going to be sharp. So what you are going to do, you are going to contour it. I am going to contour it like this. So you can see what I have here. Contour it like this. Then you are going to tack it down. So don't make it that sharp. I went on to do this before cutting up, cutting it on my fabric. So I just said I should show you guys in case somebody did not know. Might not get something different from mine. So you can see at this part, your shape is more circular than the way it was. So you can see. So just go ahead to do this. I just said I should come back to show you guys on how to do this so you don't get confused. So I have gone ahead to do everything as I told you. I have a video on how to do your flounce like this on how to put all my crinoline is inside of this. You can see my crinoline is inside of this. You can see the wave in. You can see how it's going. So I have a video on how to do everything about this. So I don't want to go in details in this video. So I don't waste your time. So I'm going to find my way through to put my flounce on this sleeve. So I will make sure it it contains this sleeve because I want it to be full. So I leave it more than my sleeve because I want it to be full. So I'm going to make my way through and make it the size. So I'm going to use this part to do my up based on the the style as on my that I'm working with. So I'm going to make it different. So let me go ahead to do that and come back to it. Oh. So you can see what I have here. This tutorial is supposed to be over by now, but I don't want to keep you half full. I just want to give you some clips. It take me a while. It really take me a, a while to get this. It was very. It wasn't easy at all. It wasn't easy before I came to a conclusion on how to do this. So what I was able to do here now was to follow the shape you need to pay close attention and keep to details of whatever you are doing you don't you might not get it exactly exactly as the style which you are working with but at least you should go closer to that style so when somebody sees it they can they can reflect or recall and say it is close nobody is perfect as you may know so in fact i was not the one that even saw the cloth so I am that person we are not the same so I, this is my own photocopy of my job all I, I need to do is to try to be better than that person so i just try my best to be better to do it better so this was how i came to this length and you can see i told you i'm going to i'm going to gather it because, it, because for it to be full as this you need to pleat it inside and you can you cannot tell that i pleated it if you look at the if you look look at the flounce the way it, it is the way it coils you cannot tell that i pleated it but now you can see how i was able to put it inside so you can see how inside looks like so for it to be full you need to do this pleating for it to be full or else if you want to use your main length of your flounce it won't be as full as this so you can see the style it is also full there so i just said i should show you guys so i was able to this was my first layer so i followed my first layer to get my rest and i was able to draw my shock in form of this shape as i told you i did not sew it straight straight you know it wouldn't have given me this kind of shape as you, that you are seeing here so so this is something you need to you need to also pray for iq pray for knowledge in a way that whenever you see something you always you should always pray and ask god to help you out on how to get what you are trying to do so I told you nobody is perfect, but you need to try your best to be even better than that person which they gave you style to do for. So this is what I have. I was able to, with my IQ, to draw it. In short, I passed through processes trying to get what I have now. I passed through processes trying to see, but they do not give me a better result until I come to a conclusion of using this result. So you can see what I have here. So after doing it, this is what my inside looks like. So you can see the shape. This is my copy. You can see the shape that comes like this. You can see the shape of this one that comes like this. So that's how I'm going to do it. So what I'm going to do now is another big headache, but I'm going to do now.
is to make sure I sew my 0 0.5 inch, which I have at my sewing allowance. There, there must be a way it is going to work. So what I'm going to do now is to make sure I fold this any way possible to get my 0 0.5 inch for my sewing allowance. So I will go ahead now to sew it, then come back to show you the completion of what I am doing. So I have gone ahead to sew it. So I told I told you it wasn't it wasn't impossible. So you can see I have gone ahead to sew it because I have done something like this before. So I know it will pass surely. So I have done it. I don't know why I'm still coming back to show you guys. So let me just go ahead to fix this thing. I was supposed to show you on how to get the other sleeve. That is a Canadian smoking board. My camera, I don't think the, my memory space will be enough. If it is, it will, if it will be enough, I'll come and show you guys quickly on how to do that. So let me go and fix this sleeve first before coming to do the other sleeve. So maybe let's see the next video. Take care, stay safe, and remain blessed. Always to see the finish work. Don't just go like that.